Hey my friends, I am so glad you are here. We are gonna get a lot done in today's extreme clean with me. We are gonna have a ton of cleaning motivation, so I hope you guys are ready. Whether you are cleaning with me or just sitting back and watching, we're gonna get a lot done. So you guys already know I'm going to start this cleaning video with showing you the real life messes. I fried some chicken tonight and there's grease splatters everywhere. I also did a little project with Noah, which I'll show you guys in just a second. So in the evening, it is time to get started. Whenever I fry up chicken or I cook anything like that, let me tell you, there is grease everywhere and we've got a deep clean. This is not like your run of the mill. Let's just zoom through here real fast. Like there is some scrubbing that has to take place. Like I had mentioned just a second ago, I actually got distracted before even wanting to clean and I started painting as you saw on the counter. The kids actually, well, the boys actually mowed, and so there's grass on the inside and Emma's food on the high chair. We just have so much that needs to get done. Those are my projects right there. Noah helped me, and it was awesome. I am starting off with unloading the dishwasher. I had to go ahead and run it just with the kids being home. There are just cups and bowls and just dishes upon dishes in the house it's summertime that's just the way it goes and so i already had to run the dishwasher so i could do the dishes which i won't even i won't even fake it tonight i was like yes let's just go ahead and run it and i'm just gonna i'm gonna wait until it's done until i start cleaning because i was just not in the mood but i always try to do some cleaning every single evening because i kind of tell myself what would make your future self happy and cleaning the kitchen so I don't have to wake up to this in the morning always makes my future self happy so that is one of the little tips that I have if you struggle with wanting to get the kitchen clean in the evening because just sometimes we're just too tired let's just be honest just say what would your future self appreciate what would your future self like and you know good and well you're going to want to wake up to a clean kitchen and so that is what I do So as I continue to fill up the dishwasher, I want to take a moment and introduce you guys to my sweet friend Autumn with Bliss and Beauty. She is another YouTube mama and she's got a ton of amazing content on her channel. Here is a screenshot right here. She's got some awesome shorts, great videos. When I say shorts, it sounds like I'm saying like shorts like that you wear. It was an inside joke between Chris and I. So when I said she has some awesome shorts, I mean like the short videos, but um, you know, she's awesome. She's really sweet, super down to earth. You guys will really, really, really enjoy her because if you guys enjoy my content, you are going to love hers and make sure you follow her on Instagram because she's got some really cool reels over there. I've actually learned from her some really cool tips and techniques and little hacks in the kitchen and around the house so she just brings a lot of value to the community it's been really nice getting to chat with her and to talk with her and so i think that you guys would really really enjoy her when this video is over even if you want to just hop over there right now i'm going to have her information in my description box just go and say hello she is just starting out and so i just think it would be really really amazing if every single one of you guys hop over there and just give her a warm welcome to the community say hello check her out you're gonna love her make sure you hit that subscribe button because she just posts really motivating and awesome content So on this particular evening, I did not actually like deep clean and scrub the sink because I knew I needed to um, do the stove as you guys saw just a minute ago. But 
you won't see it now. My camera actually dies, and so I just leave it. <laughs> I clean the kitchen except for the stove, and uh, the camera died. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take one for the team, and I am going to go to bed and I will take care of this first thing in the morning. So this video is actually over the course of three or four days. I think it's four days. I can't remember right at this very second. But um, yeah, we had a lot to get done. But you know, sometimes we don't get a whole day to just do it uninterrupted. So we just do what we can. I mean, I know that you guys can totally relate to that. So I am using a Clorox wipe and I'm just wiping down her high chair or I was and I'm going to continue to just pick up the things off of the kitchen counter. Now I had noticed that in here that it was starting to look really bad right here this is where I keep my pots and pans and in a past video I had actually put a liner down and I've been wanting to do that so while I was at Walmart I went ahead and picked up picked up some more liner so I'm just wiping everything down here I'm really disappointed in myself that it's already stained but I've got this easy liner it's the smooth top very affordable and I'm gonna cut it and just protect this area if you guys have a new home or even if you don't have a new home I really really recommend you line your cabinets and your pantry and drawers like I have here because you do not want to mess it up especially when you have water on your pots and pans or your cups it will warp that wood so that's my little tip So my favorite cleaner for my countertops is the Method Granite and Stone Cleaner, but in the evenings I am going to disinfect the countertop. I have the Scotch Bright brand here. This was actually given to me a very long time ago. I cleaned out my a garage and I had got a big old box of stuff and so that's why I'm using it and so far so good I really do like it so I just want to throw that out there I didn't buy it they actually sent it to me which was super nice of them to do but I really really do like it So if I wanted to throw this out there, if you guys are new and this is your first time ever watching one of my videos, will you let me know who you are, where you're from, and just introduce yourself in the comments below. I would love to say hello. I would love to welcome you. Um, I always say when you are here, you are family, and I mean that. You come as you are. I love on you no matter what, and I am just so thankful that you're here. If you're new here, would you go ahead and hit that subscribe button? It's totally free. It just lets you know when I upload videos, and if you hit that notification bell, it will actually alert you when I post new videos. But if you're new here, I post videos videos every single Monday at 10 a.m. Today is not a Monday, but that is because we had a holiday and so I did not post on the holiday. So I am just looking forward to posting consistently at 10 a.m. on Monday. I've been posting more and more on that day and it's been great. Speaking of day, it is the next day. As I had said, I had taken one for the team and I had gone to bed probably about 1230 at night. And so I'm going to tackle this first thing in the morning and I'm going to just spray it down. As you will see, we're going to clean up all the grease and we are going to give it a really good scrub down. I am using my scrub daddy scrubber here and this is these are my favorite cloths or scrubbers ever 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 I love them so much so I'm just going to scrub with all of the soapy suds on there and get some of this grease I will wipe it down and then I will end up using another soft scrub from scrub daddy really really like it it is rather gritty so you know full disclosure you really got to clean it pretty good after you use it but let me tell you it works fantastic I'll face the 
So the Scrub Daddy Paste is about $9. I got it from Target. And then this razor, uh, I think it was about $3 I got at Home Depot. You do not have to spend a ton of money to really get these cooktops looking beautiful. Here on my channel, I will always share with you the real deal. I am never going to like ask you guys to buy anything. I mean, even if I do sponsored posts, you see something, you like it, get it, great. But I never, ever, ever, ever want you to go out and feel like you need to go buy something new. We will always find a way to get things done on a budget. That is what it is about on this channel. I also wanted to say, if you're new here, I forgot to mention, I've got like a million kids. Just kidding. Only six. Ages range from 20 all the way down to one. You will see Emma in just a second. She is my little love bug. But while I was doing this, the kids are home, like I had mentioned, for summer. So you know what? They said they wanted cinnamon rolls, and I decided to make cinnamon rolls for them. You will see I will accidentally spill all of the icing on one, but that's okay. I was able to make it work. Hi. Say hi, books. You want a cinnamon roll? You want a cinnamon roll? You want a cinnamon roll? Okay. <laughs> So I did not actually intend to cook it for 30 seconds. I meant to go back there, but I got super distracted, which is just basically who I am as a person. I am always distracted. I've recently got diagnosed with ADHD and it just makes so much sense in my life. But I am going to scrub the sink like I had mentioned that I wanted to do now that the stove is completely done. Um, the kids are having their cinnamon rolls. They liked it. I was able to smear. I had actually like rubbed each roll in that puddle of icing. Um, I don't personally eat cinnamon rolls, but the kids just devoured them. So next I'm going to organize some of this. We got a Costco order in, which is always a good day here. And so like I had said, it's summertime, so I am filling up the snacky type things. I love these little fruit sticks from Costco. It's like fruit roll up, but healthy. And then the That's It's bar, love them. And Emma really likes them as well. So I recommend you guys check them out. They're so, so yummy. So this was a huge like check on my to-do list. The floor gets really, really nasty just because it does and it's light colored, light colored grout. So we see everything on here. So wanted to tackle this today. And again, like you had saw, it was another day. Good old fashioned pine saw got from the Dollar Tree. And I am scrubbing these floors up really, really good.
so I know I will probably get comments about the dirty water on the floor listen it really doesn't bother me sometimes I will go and actually do a steam cleaning uh, with my shark steam clean cleaner which I love uh, after but I didn't have time for all that today we just needed to get off the sticky goopy mess the dried on oranges and yogurt <laughs> that was completely dried on and caked on the floor that was what today was so some days done is better than perfect and done is perfect so i'm just you know some days you got to give yourself some grace and you just got to make do with what you've got and that is what i'm doing especially with all the kids home i am also in the in the midst of filming another video it is the make uh living room makeover video it has taken me so long because it's little piece by piece i don't buy everything all at once because that's just so expensive so it's been taking me months to film little pieces and on this day i was filming more of that video so i will also probably get questions yes i have another channel it is lynn diy i'm actually going to change the name i'll ask y'all's opinion on the name in just a second but um i started that channel a couple of years ago because i love diy i love decor and I thought it would be fun to do. And then after doing it for a little while, I just realized I don't like making DIYs, like uh, Dollar Tree DIYs. I love DIYs. I don't like Dollar Tree DIYs. I don't like to make them. I just like to watch it. So I've got that channel over there and I have felt led this year to start it back up. So we have got Shop With Bees over there, uh, makeovers and decorating. I will have it linked in my description box. You gotta let that come. So after cleaning off the stairs, I have baskets there, just little $10 baskets I got from Target. They have not held up well at all. I think it was the Bright Room line. A little bit thinner, but I didn't want big bulky baskets for right here. Um, you know, the idea of having baskets on the stairs just makes sense. I mean, that is perfect sense, but it doesn't make sense if you don't make your kids empty the baskets and then they're overflowing and then when the kids do finally pick them up to take them into their room the handles break so yeah there goes that i will put them back there but word to the wise make them clean out their baskets every single day so i cleaned that up i actually just took it into their room because i got to clean up that uh in another video i did not have the energy for it today my energy has been really lacking lately and um i'm gonna just vacuum this i've got a little special like little carpet stair i don't upholstery uh head on it and i am getting in these stairs i was absolutely disgusted and embarrassed all in the same emotion um maybe a little angry too i don't know uh, but i was all of the emotions all of the above feeling when i saw all of the dust and all of the hair and all of the everything um i think there was even confetti from my birthday which was march i think there was a piece of confetti on these stairs but yeah that's just the way it goes and if you look to the left of the screen you will see little dust flying in the air it was unreal so i've got my amazing super hot cameraman uh filming for me just to get all of the angles do you see all that dust it's insane you guys it is insane let me tell you let me tell you i don't even know how dog hair gets here So I also wanted to throw out here if you guys are new I know many of you guys are not and you've been here for a while but if you're new um, I wanted to share that uh, here on my channel like I had mentioned before you know come as you are we love you no matter what we are here for you this is a community um, it isn't about just about posting cleaning videos and decluttering videos I mean yes I want to motivate you yes 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 
I want you to know that you're capable. I want you to know that you are worthy and loved. And by posting cleaning videos and decluttering videos, I want to inspire you. I am a huge believer in uh, what is going on in your mind and in your space. They correlate. So you got a lot going on in your mind. You probably got a cluttered space. So let's clean out the clutter in your split in your space. Let's clean out your home and just live in a home. It's not just a house, but let's make it a home. Let's have, you know, a place that you can call your own that you love. You don't have to be in your dream home. You don't have to be where you want to be at this season of life. Let's just take pride and be grateful for where we are at today you don't know what tomorrow holds and it's just important that we focus on where we're at today it's exactly where you're meant to be even if you don't want to be here it's exactly where you're meant to be and i do believe this is a divine um appointment me and you this moment you are supposed to hear in this moment how loved you are how worthy you are how absolutely amazing you are how we need you here this world needs you here we need you to show up unapologetically as yourself don't be anyone any don't be anyone else don't compare yourself with anyone else I talk about struggling with comparison a lot but let me tell you something we need you to show up how you are who you are you are amazing and you are capable of big things. And you may come here to get just some simple motivation to clean your house or declutter and organize. Maybe that's just the case, but I'll be darned if you don't leave my channel knowing how loved you are. And I just want you to know, it is not about just making these cleaning videos or these decluttering videos and organizing videos. It's not just about that. It is about that. But it's so much more, it's so much deeper. It's about you knowing that you are capable. You're capable of cleaning the space in your home. You're capable of having an organized life, an organized mind. You are capable and you are love. And don't you ever, ever, ever forget it. I am just so glad you are here. So Chris is literally the real deal and he is pouring out this nasty water. This is from the stairs. We did just the stairs and the landing. He has not, he wanted to uh, finish upstairs. He, we will show you what that looks like in just a second. But right now we just did this area or he just did. I vacuumed and dusted and he did this part. We are a really good team. We like to tag team. He'll take over with Emma and vice versa. It is like not a her job, his job type of thing in our house. Like we just jump in. If I could do AC work, I, I probably would help him out if I could, but I can't. And I'm thankful because it's hot here in Florida and that man works nonstop. So <laughs> shout out to my love. But this is what the upstairs looks like right now. It's so bad. It has not gotten really clean since the last time I came up here and did that cleaning video in the bathroom. And so there is Miss Meowing, the best cat in the world. No more accidents upstairs. That makes me super happy. But she's just hanging out. And this is after I went up there. I actually vacuumed twice. It was nasty. And that is the water from it. So he was like, I don't want you to show everything because that can be in your next video. He gets like these really good ideas. And I'm like, okay, okay. Um, I'm a little bit of a control freak on my channel, but I like to take his advice too, because 
it's just it's both of us and he's always willing to help so yeah um, I wanted to say that do not forget to clean out your carpet cleaners my friends it's a big deal even your mop and stuff uh, you got a lot of junk and a lot of nastiness and aka bacteria on your floors so when you are done with your mop and you are done with your carpet cleaner and periodically even with your vacuum you need to clean it out if you want them to last a long time and work for a long time they have to be cleaned out especially if you're cleaning up uh, accidents from your kids or pets it's absolutely essential to disinfect this thing and it did not get cleaned the kid the girls actually cleaned up some uh, pet accidents and then I had noticed it hadn't gotten cleaned and I was kind of like Ugh. so I cleaned it a little bit before we used it on the carpet uh, like I disinfected it a bit but I knew once I was done I needed to really get in here and pull all the parts out so that is what I'm doing right here and right now scrubbing it down wiping everything down and this is a really good cleaner um, I got it a couple years ago and it is fantastic um, I can get a link if you want it's Bissell and I got it from Target uh, but I like being able to take everything off it's super easy so I just want to say thank you all so much for being here and showing up for me, showing up for my channel. It means the world to me. I hope you know how loved you are. Thank you for being a part of this community. It's not about just being on this uh, YouTube, but it's about being at my channel. My channel is our family, our club, our community, and I'm just so glad you're here. So I cannot wait to see you next week, Monday at 10. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.